So Bitcoin is sitting at 37,334 as you can see right now and our expectations are that Bitcoin will continue to hold uh, because it did drop towards 37,181, 82 or something, 182. But of course our support is all the way down towards, uh, uh, it is at $35,200. As long as that holds, we can expect Bitcoin to continue its rally. And it did create a new all-time high this time for the year. It was at 38,400, but um, my expectations are that Bitcoin will continue. Uh, if it holds 35,200, it will continue its journey towards $40,000 and it will try to push hard and hit targets. And um, if you're hearing the dog, it's my neighbor's dog. He decided to come out at the time when I'm recording the video. <laughs> so. I'm expecting that Bitcoin will go and hit $40,000, but as I always say, uh, that it is always uh, good to look dramatic, so the market corrects whenever it gets very close to it and it doesn't want to go further. What it does is that it tumbles down a bit further, creating a gap of like three, four $4,000 and then makes an attempt because that looks like a better story. <laughs> rather than you know sitting at $38,000 and then just going and touching it but let's see how it goes we know our targets we know our supports we know our resistance we would um, we would expect that the market will go in this direction and it is staying pretty strong to be honest with you uh, even though the correction is not very dramatic um, the market has moved for sideways for quite a while so uh, and it's weekend and holidays and everything so it's becoming more and more questionable and November is almost over. So if November ends and things don't go as we expect, then we, will, uh, we would need to change our narrative.